Hello guys, it is Eric here again. In this video, I'll be covering how to make uh, the keystrokes mod. I just want to say I'm sorry if you hear any background noise. I'm in my college dorm. I can't do much about it. I'm going to try to silence it in post, but I... Knowing how many mistakes I've already left and I doubt I'll be able to edit out all the noise, but you know, here goes nothing. Um, I want to give credit where credit is due, um, but I cannot find the original person who made the keystrokes mod, like originally. If you could let me know in the description, I will update their name um, and say, like, you know, credit to them. They made the original mod. Um, I'm just going to be over going over how I recreated it um, with the same kind of style that I've seen in screenshots that a couple people have sent me when they requested that I cover how to make um, this mod. So with that out of the way, um, let's go for it. So we can go into mods, implements, let's create a new mod. We're going to call this mod keystrokes. Just like every mod, we're going to say extends mod drag pull and implement the methods. Um, what we're going to only do for right now is I'm going to say private screen position position. And just in the save, we're going to say this dot position equals position and return return position. Now that I've got that, I'm going to leave these methods untouched right now, and we are going to create um, a couple of internal classes. Um, if you want, you can uh, make a package and um, put everything in that package, but I, for the sake of this tutorial, I am just going to put everything in one file to not confuse people, hopefully. Um, so we're going to do private static class key. Uh, this class is basically going to hold um, what a key looks like on the screen, um, what what text is the display, how big is the rendering going to be, what, where the position is, and what button is used and, um, to press it, and is it down or not. Um, so we're going to give it a private uh, final string name, private Final key binding, key binding, network of client settings. We'll just call this key, key bind, private, final, int, the x position, private, final, int, the y position, private, final, int, the width, private, final, int, height. Now these are all final because there's no need to change them. So I'm going to make a constructor for it. We're just going to say takes a string name, key binding, key bind. Uh, we want to take an int x, int y, int width, int height. And then in here, we're just going to say this.name equals name, this.keybind equals keybind. This.x equals x, this.y equals y, this.width equals width. You get the gist of it. This.height equals height. Oops, keep on is oopsies. <laughs> this.y equals y. Um, what? Okay, I just can't type today. <laughs> Alright, now that we got that. Um, I want just a simple method um, that we're just going to say it's going to be a public um, boolean is down, and that's just going to return key binding dot is down. That's all that's going to do, uh, and then the rest of these um, we can access. So we can do get height, get name get width, get x, get y. And there's no real need to return the keybind because all we're doing is just checking if it's down. Um, so now that we got all these, I'm going to come up here and we are going to create um, a few keys that are going to be constant that we can use. So I'm going to say private static final key, or we're going to call it w for the w key equals new key, and we're going to give it w 
going to say mc, or no, uh, sorry, minecraft.get, minecraft.game settings, dot key binding, key bind forward. Um, and then we're going to say for the x position, 21, y position 1, and it has a size of 18 by 18 pixels. So now I'm going to copy that for W, A, S, and D. So let's name that A, name it the, the text of A, and we're going to do 1, 21. Um, for S, we are going to make the position uh, 21 and 21. And then for D, we are going to make the position 41 and 21. Now I gotta change these, so key binding dot key bind left, key bind right, key bind or wait. Left, no, oh, this is down. Things called back. Yeah, and then this is right. It's like nine o'clock at night, and I was up really late last night working on some stuff for this video series, and so I'm I'm a little out of it today. But we're just gonna just gonna get through this because I want to get a video recorded for you guys. Uh, so now I'm gonna make left mouse button and right mouse button. So we're gonna say same thing. Let's just paste D, for example. And we're just going to name this left mouse button. The text to display is going to be left mouse button. And it's going to be game settings dot keybind attack. And we'll put it at 141. And the key binding is size 28 by 18. And we're going to make another one for right mouse button. Call this RMB. Uh, this is going to be dot key bind use item. Key bind use item, and then it's going to be 31, 31, 41. Oh, and this has to be 41 too. Okay, so there's that. Um, and that's all we're going to do for this class. So um, we're going to make another. We're going to say for this one, we're going to say public static. We're going to make an enum. Enum keystrokes mode. And so this mode is going to hold a couple of things. Um, we're going to say we want private final key array to hold all the keys for this mode. Uh, we want a private int width, private int height. Um, now let's make a constructor for this. So we're just going to take in the array of keys. So I'll just take keys in and we're going to say this.keys equals keys in. We're going to go for key, key in keys. So go through every key, say this.width equals math dot max of this dot width um, key dot get x plus key dot get width and then height equals math dot max of this dot height and for d it's key dot get y plus key dot get height um, let's see, oh yeah, okay, so then what we want to do is want a couple getters, so we're just going to say get height, get width, get keys, make that look a bit pretty. So now we got that, we actually need to add the different modes. Um, so what I want to do is say we're going to have WASD, our first mode, and I'm actually going to change this to... Um, an array of keys like that, um, just so it's easier to type out. 
And in here, we're going to say key.w. And then, yeah, and then we're going to say key.a, key.s, key.d. So now we want another one, which is WASD and the mouse button. So that's going to be key.w, key.a, key.s, key.d, key.left mouse button, key.right mouse button. Now we want one, oops, it's supposed to be a capital. Now we want um, WASD and the uh, sprint, the, the, the sprint button. Uh, so what we want to do for the sprint button is we're going to say we want WASD. So I'm just going to be lazy and copy this. Oops, there's supposed to be a comma there. We want WASD and then we also want a new key of called sprint. It takes Minecraft .get Minecraft game settings keybind sprint. Uh, we're going to put it to one forty one fifty eight. There's supposed to be parentheses there. And there's a lowercase p. So now, the reason that I'm doing it this way is because this sprint is going to need to change locations depending on our next thing, which is sprint with the mouse. So WASD sprint mouse. So I'm going to copy sprint. Um, but we're going to change this 41 to a 61. And then I also want to get the left mouse button and right mouse button and add that before it. Um, and then I also need to initialize those. forgot about that to zero. Sorry, it's a little out of order, but bear with me. Um, so now that we got those two classes done, now these could also be in a separate file, it is up to you. But I'm choosing to put them in one file for this tutorial. I'm going to say private key strokes mode. Um, and we're just going to call this mode is key strokes mode dot. We'll do WASD sprint mouse by default. Um, this could be whatever you want, but it's if no one has ever booted up your client before, this is going to be um, what they'll see. And then I'm going to have a setter to say set mode. So for my instance, I can set a mode. For get width, we're going to say return mode dot get width. We're going to say return mode dot get height. And now all we have to do is the render function. So for the render, I'm going to say glmon.gl push matrix. And then at the end, gl11.gl pop matrix. Don't want to forget those. So now I can begin all of my rendering code in here. So I'm going to say boolean blend is gl11.gl is enabled gl11.gl underscore blend. So checking if blending is enabled, then we're going to disable blend. gl11.gl disable. Uh, we want to disable blending for this. Um, going to draw everything, and then I'm going to say if blend is enabled, gl11.gl enable blend. So now I can write our, all of our code in here. So we're going to say for key key in mode.getKeys. So for every key, I'm going to say int text width is font.get string width of key.get name. Then I'm going to say GUI. Draw rectangle 
of position dot get absolute x plus key dot get x. And we're going to say pose dot get absolute y plus key dot get y. For rate, we are going to do same with x. So we're going to say pause dot get absolute x plus key dot get x plus key dot get width. Then for I'm gonna I'm gonna start moving these down right now. I'm gonna just do this to just start to separate them a little bit. Just so it's easier to see. So for bottle we're gonna do pose.get absolute y plus key dot get y plus key dot get height. Now for the color, what we want to do is we're gonna do an inline if statement. So I'm going to say um, if key dot is down, inline if statement, uh, new color of uh, white, so 255, 255, 255. Hey, it's future Eric from editing this video. Uh, I've made a mistake in this part of the video where I typed 2555 for a color. It's just supposed to be 255, just like the rest of them. Uh, if you do what I did and type 2555 with the extra 5, You'll get render errors and bad things will happen. So I'll I'll draw a red circle around where it's supposed to go or something. Uh, but yeah, make sure you type it correctly, or else you get horrible render errors. See you, my dudes. And I'll do 102 as the opacity dot get RGB. I think it is. Yeah, get RGB. Else we want to say new color. Uh, we'll make it black uh, so zero comma zero comma zero comma 102 dot get rgb and now we got to import color and so it's java.atw is our color so there's our rectangle now we want to draw the center text so i'm going to say font dot draw string I'm going to put these all on separate lines, so key dot get name. And we'll put that on a separate line, that on a separate line, that on a separate line, that on a separate line. Just so it's easy to see how this all works. So I'm going to say position dot get absolute x plus key dot get x plus key dot get width. minus text width divided by 2. Uh, for the y, it's position I get absolute y. Oh, wait. Uh, for x, sorry. It's divided by 2. Wait, no, get width divided by 2 minus text width divided by 2. I need to read my notes more carefully, man. All right, so back to y plus p dot get y plus key dot get height. Oops, key dot get height divided by two minus four. Um, and then for the color, we're going to say um, if key is down. So we want to say. If for color, we're going to say key dot, if the key is down, inline if statement, um, color dot black dot get RGB else color dot white dot RGB. All right, um, that should be it for this class. So just like every other mod, we're going to go into our mod instance. We're going to say private static mod keystrokes mod keystrokes I'm going to copy one that exists say mod keystrokes mod keystrokes mod keystrokes and theoretically now we should be able to run our client and we have keystrokes we're gonna find out I hope my math is right 
because I'm having apparently a little bit of trouble reading my notes. So yeah, that would that would be handy. All right, there we go. Now if I move this over here, it all works. Oh well, I. <laughs> It's now rendering a ton of stuff. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. Everything seems to be working. We got our armor display, FPS, XYZ. It's all. It's all starting to come together. All right, guys. So thanks for watching this tutorial. Catch you in the next one.